Hey everyone, um, what's up, King Rich here? I'm bringing you a quick expatter update. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for this, and the main reason is because when you use the gamepad beta, it has a lot of latency issues and input lag, um, and it also changes your PC user interface to what we have on a console, and for many, that is very inconvenient. For me, I cannot stand that. Um, interface um, so I like to use XPatter to get around that also XPatter allows you to get a lot higher sensitivity um, console sensitivity and a gamepad beta sensitivity is locked and you'll basically be turning like this but with this profile you get way faster sensitivity and it can be bumped up even faster if you want it um, so those are the perks to using XPatter over the gamepad beta no latency issues faster sensitivity and native PC in the native PC user interface interface so let's go over it really fast up on a d-pad is Q um, which will activate your potions um, holding it brings up the menu down is E which is how you talk to NPCs or um, yeah how you talk to NPCs and or store your weapon I also have that slotted if you hold E if you hold down on the d-pad it'll put your weapon away I like to have this when I get finished with 1vx to so just hold down and put that weapon away like a boss um, right on the d-pad is your synergy button um, and then left on the d-pad is crouch I swapped crouch with weapon swap and the reason why is because weapon swapping with the right analog stick click in as you can see is a lot faster and allows you to um, weapon swap while maintaining mobility also you can animation cancel um, with weapon swaps a lot easier with it being on your um, right analog stick click in um, so yeah it's a really good profile also um, your number one ability is going to be located on your X button your number two ability is going to be located on your Y button your number three ability is going to be located on the B button your number four ability is located on the left bumper um, as you can see and then number five is located on the right bumper right click will activate your light and heavy attacks like the normal um, <clears throat> controller profile and then left trigger will block holding left trigger will also toggle your settings as you can see so your synergy then becomes F so say you need to revive somebody you would hold the L trigger and then right on the d-pad I know it's a little bit inconvenient but once you get used to it it's not that bad so you you, you get extra um, extra uh, what do you call it um, extra commands when holding the L trigger um, and these can also be tweaked to your liking if you want to and I'm gonna upload the um, profile and on my Dropbox and I'll leave a link in the description um, and the profile is fully customizable you will have to buy X pattern it's $9.99 you should go support it it's a really good app I still use it to this day I've been using it since beta so that was it's over two years I've been using X pattern with um, Elder Scrolls online so go support XPatter. It's a really good profile um, program, and it's only like ten bucks. You might be able to find it for cheaper. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Um, also, holding L is how you dodge roll. So you hold L, and then it turns your jump into a dodge roll. So that is how you dodge roll. L and A, which is basically the same. Now your ultimates. That's a little bit different. Your ultimate, instead of pressing left bumper, right bumper at the same time, your ultimate will be. The start button the I, I guess that's the start button or menu button I don't know what the Xbox decided to change it I'm just so used to it being start and select but we'll just call it the start button so start will um, be your ultimate and I actually like this over the console version or the console controller setup or the gamepad beta setup simply because a lot of the times you'll go on ultimate and if you slip up and press maybe uh, you know left bumper before right bumper you'll activate an ability before you don't do your ultimate and I've had that problem playing on console so this eliminates that because you have a one button single click for your ultimate and it can be changed up but I wasn't able to perfect the double button press and honestly I like this better so I just gave up on it um, but yeah that's the that's the controller profile um, if you guys have any questions just comment down below I'll leave a link to download it in the description and like sub and comment also um, I'm going to be having some content coming out on ESO giving you guys some updates on why I haven't been playing the game 
as much and I'll give you guys a huge update on what I'm going to be doing with ESO moving forward. Because I do have plans for ESO but they're going to change the way I play the game drastically. Um, but it's going to be beneficial to everybody who supports the channel, uh, both the Twitch and the YouTube. So once again, like, sub, comment. See you next time. Peace.